The following podcast has been brought to you by Bonesaw Entertainment. Bonesaw Zine Dare Cam. Yeah, dig it. And welcome to the Hard Pass Podcast with your host, Connor Frontera. Here is where we break down and discuss all things harmonica going on around the world. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure to follow the show on all social media possible. Make sure to follow me on Instagram as well. I do put some updates there as well. It's Connor J. Frontera. If you're feeling generous, you could donate to the show by sending it a donation on PayPal at harphousepodcast at gmail.com. All right, everybody, welcome to the show. I just want to get straight into it and talk a little bit about some of the latest harmonica news that's been going on. And basically, if you haven't found out already or you do not have Facebook or something or the other, I'm going to read you a little uh, a little post made by Jason Ritchie on November 6th. It's now November 12th. I'm going to read you something that he wrote on November 6th. And I didn't find out about this until a couple of days ago because I do not actually have Facebook. It looks like Jason Ritchie did uh, check himself into a rehab, and uh, I'm not t- I'm not talking about this because I want to make drama or I want to do anything like that. I just want to give people some news about what's going on with Jason Ritchie because I mean the guy's one of the best harmonica players to ever live. He's a freaking legend. He's phenomenal, and um, if, he, if he has a show coming up, he probably is not going to be there. So. I'm just giving you a little bit of news, and uh, I just want to read to you what he wrote. It's kind of heartfelt, and do give a little bit of my opinion on it. And uh, let's let's see what you think. I really, if you think I'm a I'm a, the devil or I'm this or I'm that, it really doesn't matter to me. But he said, "Okay, I'm leaving tomorrow morning for the hospital. Addiction and mental illness have been a lifelong battle for myself, so many close friends, and nearly all my family. Today, I'm starting over again on day two of that battle, all over again after having achieved 12 years sober once before, and four years sober recently, four and a half years. I've been filled. It says the past year has been filled with numerous 90 days, six months, 30 days, three days, two weeks. Uh, you know, smoke. It says weed smoking, no meetings, and simply not you know maintaining. And now he's back in that battle again, all over again, and it's exhausting, redundant, embarrassing, tiresome, full of hopelessness, and again a battle for my life. But I'm giving up the battle again and asking for help. Sobriety for me means total abstinence from all mind-altering drugs, including marijuana. He goes on to talk about some more things about himself, you know, having bipolar disorder, other mental illnesses that he's dealt with, and now he's just saying that he wants to do this for his wife, Kate. Now, I feel pretty bad for Kate. Now, no, I don't feel bad for her because she signed up for it, but I do, you know, I, I do see that she, she's definitely hurting, and, and this situation is probably pretty serious. Not only for her, though, is it serious. It's also serious, I think, for harmonica, the harmonica community in general, because these having this happen is like losing something super important to us. And hopefully, I mean, I really do hope that Jason does recover from this because his last recovery was pretty pretty successful. I think he came a long way after recovering from that the first time because I actually was around. I wasn't playing so much. I mean, I wasn't such a great player. I was first starting out, but I was around. The first Jason Ritchie uh, thing that I remember was that he's, you know, a phenomenal, amazing player, and then he had a run-in with a music studio where he did X, Y, Z, and then he got in trouble and he went to jail. And those kinds of things, you don't want to hear about that in the harmonica community because we're very, you know, tightly knit, and we're all, we all know each other. We're all into this. We're all in this together, and... It's unfortunate to have something like this happen, but I will say that, you know, this is this kinds of things are you can't give these people any leeway. You can't give them any you, you can't feel bad for them in a way, because I come from a family where we have, you know, we had a tragic event, same kind of deal, same thing going on with Jason Ritchie. And I, I have the experience. I know what's going on in these kind of situations. And it's just like you, you can't feel bad for these guys. You got to let them go through their own trials and tribulations to get that stuff to come clean and to do what they got to do. So hopefully he does go through those once again and does actually fix what he's got to fix. And then nothing I could do about it. Nobody could do about it. You know, even even his best friends and 
all the people that he knows and all the people that he's played with, I mean, I'm sure they're not helping or not helping at all. You know, they're, they're not really doing much for him. And uh, all those people that he was uh, smoking weed with or whatever he was doing, I mean, uh, they weren't really helping very much either. And it's tough to fight this fight, but I'm glad that he's trying to fight the fight again. He comes to that realization that he needs to take care of what he has to take care of. And looking at Jason Ritchie, you know, just as a player, he's a very, very great harmonica player. He's a very, very innovative harmonica player. And losing him as a harmonica player is, is pretty its pretty difficult for a lot of people because a lot of people look up to him. A lot of people say, you know, I want to play like Jason Ritchie. I want to be as good as Jason Ritchie. But then with that also comes Jason Ritchie's the way, the way Jason Ritchie plays has a lot to do with his character as well. With that comes a lot of other things. I mean, but there are many great players out there as well that do these kinds of things. And I just want to make a point out of this by saying, you know, if, if you see someone doing something stupid, I just, just tell them that they're not cool. Okay. Just make sure that you go up to these people and say, listen, you're not cool. Like relax, bro. Just play harmonica. Try to be a good person. I mean, not that Jason Richard or any of these people aren't good people, but you know, they, they, they end up getting in trouble and doing things that they're not supposed to be doing. So just look out for each other in this harmonica community. We got to look out for each other. We're small, you know, spa is a small thing. Maybe 500 people come to spa. Maybe a couple thousand people are, are active on the harmonica community. We got about 10,000 people that are active on the Reddit community harmonica. And if you're not, you should uh, hit that up as well. But we got we to gotta be there for each other. We got to let each other know and call each other out when they're doing stupid shit. And excuse my language. But it's like you really got to be on top of this kind of stuff. I didn't find out about this until some random person, actually. I work at a theater now down in a downtown area of of Delray Beach, Florida, and they just randomly brought this up to me. And I don't have Facebook, so this was news to me, and I didn't even know this person, and they brought it up to me, and I was like, wow, this is very, very interesting news. So, you know, I did confirm it. I went on Facebook. I found the post. I, I did all that stuff. But it's like just letting everybody out there know, like, you're not cool. Like, don't try to be cool. Don't try to hang out with the cool kids. And, you know, even if you're if you're 90 years old or you're 9 years old, it doesn't really matter. Just play harmonica or be a musician or do what you got to do. I, I don't care what you do as long as you do it and you try to stay doing that thing and make a positive impact on the community. Not saying that Jason Ritchie doesn't make a positive impact. He does. But with a lot of that stuff comes the negativity, comes, you know, things that are like, oh, man, again type things. And I really don't like doing that. I really want harmonica to grow. And as the pretty much the face of harmonica, I mean, we're not looking so great right now at this moment, but it, it's, we, need to, we need to have this tight-knit community. We need to move forward. We need to be better. We need to play uh, in unison. We need to have you know, good stuff going on and have these, harmonica, have these harmonica collectives and these spas and all this kind of stuff. We want it to be a you know, good environment. We want more people to play the harmonica. We don't want them to come. And see a bunch of shenanigans going on and then they say, wow, I don't want to do that ever again. That's all I'm saying is, you know, this is not really a, I'm not saying I feel bad for anyone. I'm not saying, you know, that I'm not judging anybody. All I'm trying to do is just put some feelers out there. Like if you're playing, if you're listening, if you're someone's friend that plays music or does anything in life, I mean, this is less about harmonica and more about life, anything in life, you got to. Let them know, like, yo, you got to chill, bro, or you got to chill, girl. Like, you got to really get your act together because you're going to end up doing something stupid or get in trouble, and it's not not good. You don't want that for anybody. I mean, I, I've done it. I've dealt with this stuff in the past. I can, I can, I'm speaking from literally firsthand experience of horrifying tragedy. So just be vigilant in having, you know, in keeping all your friends in check and keeping all musicians in check that you play with. It's very hard to do, but you want to have a positive community. Music is supposed to be a positive thing. You know, a lot of people, they talk about all these musicians that that died from drug overdose and all this other thing. You don't want that. That's like so negative. And it's like, oh my God, Amy Winehouse was so great. She was a great singer. Yeah, you know what? Well, she was an idiot too. And she killed herself. And other other musicians as well. I mean, it, that's just how it is. So you got to make sure that if we're going to play music, we got to keep a positive a positive outlook. We have to look out for our friends, especially in the harmonica community. It's small. I try to look out for as many people as I can. I'm always trying to help people. I'm always trying to do good things. And if I see someone doing something stupid, I'm going to say it. 
I'm very, very happy that Jason Ritchie has come to that realization that literally as the face of innovative modern harmonica, he is making this decision to go back to rehab once again. Hopefully, he has a speedy recovery. Keep it going on and going on. But this is basically news and maybe like a little life lesson. And I'm not so old and get, and I can't give life le- many life lessons, but I will say on this front, I can definitely speak volumes and people do have to just... That, you need to have like opposite peer pressure and you need to tell other people like, yo, chill, the f- chill out, man, chill. Don't do that. Why are you doing that? You're going to get yourself in trouble. You can do something stupid. Just get everybody on the same page, be positive and uh, call each other out on their crap. You know, hey guys, we got to, you know, make sure this is good and blah, 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 whatever. And just be positive about life, about everything, about music, you know, just take take the good and the good and then leave the bad at the door, leave the bad behind and make sure you take care of your friends and family and uh, tell them when they're doing something stupid. But anyway, I am done here with this podcast. Please, everybody, any questions or comments, you could send them to me if you hate me now, if you love me now. You know, I'm just trying to speak the truth and put a little bit of honesty on it. So thank you for listening. And like I said, if you're feeling generous, you could donate to the Hard Palace PayPal using hardpalacepodcast at gmail.com. I'll see you guys next time.